FBG Cash was backdoored. Somebody set that up. For them to know where he was at at 5 a.m., somebody set him up. Because 99% of the people are not out in the streets at 5 a.m. It's impossible for them to be following him, you know, from daytime or the evening. It's impossible. Somebody gave up his location. It could have been an op probably drove by. You know, they probably was coming from the club. You know, because at that time, you know, or a girl house, drinking, smoking, hanging out. An op probably drove by, gave somebody else the location, and they went and got him. That's what happened. You know, half of these, you know, things that happened in Chicago, somebody gave up your location. With Biko, somebody gave his location. Somebody went and told, you know, the old black guys that breaking them was outside on 63rd. All it takes is for an op to drive by. He don't want to do it himself because he don't want to go to jail for 40 years. So he's going to call you and you're going to be foolish enough to go get him. And that's what happened. Even with Lou B, somebody called the cops and told the cops he was outside. Somebody gave up cash location. He was backdoored. And the thing is that he created a lot of beef, you know, dissing, you know, like dead ops and stuff like that. You know, just saying some things in his song that wasn't appropriate. And your ops, when they see you getting record deals and you on all these big platforms, you know, they have millions of followers and subscribers. That means you blowing up. When your ops see that, that make them go get you faster. You know, before they'll just wait till when they see you. And it's on site. Like if they run into you somewhere, it's going to go down. You're both going to back out and make it rain. But when they go get you, they're not going to wait to run into you. When they go get you, that means it was something that couldn't wait. It was an emergency. And they knew that he was blowing up in the rap game. He just got a deal. He went back to Chicago. He was really somewhere else, but he was going back and forth. They got him because they didn't want him to blow up and be this, you know, big like FPG Duck. Your ops don't want you to be rich. They want you to be poor. Because the first thing you're going to do, like how all these other big rappers do, they support the gang with drugs, guns, you know, whatever they need for war. That's what they do. So they're going to make the gang stronger. You know, so the GDs, the BDs, wherever you at, you're going to buy like 30 guns. You know, like extended clips. You're going to buy the best weapons. Might buy some vests, some drugs, whatever. That's why the ops take you out. Before you get rich or start making good money. Because they don't want you to strengthen the gang. You know, make your gang more strong. Because you're going to go after them. But he was backdoored. And one thing they can't say is that the girl that was with him backdoored him. You can't say that. Just like Suge and Tupac. Suge was in the car. Why would he tell him to hit the car up while he's in there? It makes no sense. So no one could say the girl backdoored him. Because she got hit too. She got hit in the hand and in the back. Cash got hit all over the body. But the girl is in critical. She got hit too, so she didn't backdoor him. It was someone else set him up. But I believe that somebody saw him and they gave up his location to the people that they knew was looking for him or wanted him. And they seen he was blowing up. And that's the thing. He was blowing up. He's doing good. He's making money. The same thing with his brother Young. Young is making money. I don't know if you realize it or not. I've seen multiple pictures, like three of them. He got cash, you know, a big stack of money, at least 50000 And the thing is that you can't make money like that taking pics and stay in Chicago. You can take a pic with $50,000. What is you doing in the hood? And if you is going to be in Chicago, be in the middle class part. Don't be in the hood where the gangs are at. Don't even go back to the hood. Let your people that love you, you know, your family, your close people that you trust to tell them where you live. Let them come to you. Or you send somebody to go pick them up from the hood and take them to your house. Because now you a target. You making money. You're about to be rich. They don't want that. Your ops don't want to see you successful. I don't understand why Duck and all these people, why they didn't move to a better part of Chicago. Or just leave completely. If you're going to make yourself an easy target by staying, what's the point of wanting to be successful? It's either one or the other. You want to be a GD or you want to be a rapper. You know, the same thing like this guy Butter. Butter got to make his mind up because that's like half the team already got stretched. Half the FPG. There's only like three more left. Butter, Young, and Dutchie. That's it. After them, there is no more FPG. Like how Vaughn said in that live, when someone asked him about Duck, he said there is no more FPG. So now, the FPG boys, or the Clout boys, they need to come together and make a decision about leaving Chicago. I think that's the best thing for them to do. Because if they don't leave, not only something going to happen to them, but 63rd is going to be finished. Because they're the last three left. So all that work them steppers put in for 63rd, it's all going to go down the drain if everybody has gotten stretched. Everybody got killed off, so there is no more 63rd if they don't leave Chicago. 